Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I post every Monday and Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to talk about the best new Adobe XD and Figma plugins that you can use to make your designs much, much better. I would like to know from you guys which tools, plugins are better, Adobe XD plugins or Figma plugins? Put that in the comments below and if you have a favorite plugin, let me know as well. So the first plugin in Adobe XD is Artboard Presets and what it allows you to do is allows you to select a bunch of artboards which are not there right now in Adobe XD. Stuff like Pixel, Galaxy, Nexus, even things like social media, YouTube cover, LinkedIn, Dribble as well as A4 style sheets. If I click on any one of these, it will create artboards depending on the size of that uh, device or size of that screen. And also you can select any one of these A4 or A5 sheets as well. And as a cherry on top of the cake, there is something called custom. So as you can see, I've already made something called Puneet special artboard. Under this, I have 1240 uh, artboard and you can add as many custom artboards as you like name it anything it could be your phone so for example it could be one plus nord or something like that and you can uh, put in your sizes your screen sizes and dimensions right here and say add preset that will add it right here and you can use it whenever you want the next plugin is called dark mode palette toggler and what it does it basically converts your light mode designs into dark mode designs and it makes it very very simple for example for this design that i have in front of me it has already generated the light and dark mode designs and it has already placed a palette for us all you need to do is say generate asset variants and it basically generates these assets if you want to switch from light mode to dark mode or vice versa you just click on one of these. So if I click on dark mode, see how all my screens have gotten dark with these dark color palettes. If I click back on light mode, it will say all these light colors and color palettes. So the next plugin is called replace items. And as the name suggests, you can replace or duplicate certain elements in your artboards. So for example, I want to replace the position between this uh, item here and maybe so for example I have this search bar and I want to replace it with something else in some other artboard so it could be maybe this next button I click on both this uh, rec this next button as well as the search bar uh, make sure both of them are selected at the same time by holding shift and then all I need to do is click on replace and the little button has appeared on this artboard where the search bar earlier where the search bar earlier was. The next plugin is called Sequelize Artboards. As designers, we often forget the name of the artboard. So what do we do? We put them in a sequence to make it easier. As if I click on sequence artboards, as you can see before all these artboards names, there has been a number added. So nine, 10, next one is yes, 11 as you guessed. So a very neat and clean way to organize your artboards is to put it in a sequence of numbers. And this little plugin helps you to do just that. Often we have text like this, which is taking up more space than it should. And we have to manually resize how the text box is. Rather than doing that, all you need to do is use a plugin called mask text. It will mask the text, text based on its width, height, and bounds completely automatically. So in this case, I say fit width. And as you can see, it has now fit the width of the text box. If I say fit height, it will basically fit the height of this text box. That looks amazing. And if I would say fit bounds, what it will do is it will fit both height as well as width together. And it will give you this clean artboard with ample amount of spacing for all the other elements. Doing this again and again and again is very annoying, especially if you have a lot of screens like this, you need to just click and then go inside. How do you do that? Click on any and any element in that artboard and say go to artboard and it will fit the artboard perfectly in the center. You can just zoom out, click on something and say go to artboard and it goes to that artboard. How simple is that? Moving on to Figma. This is for all you Figma users out there. These are some really cool plugins that I'm going to show you. So the first plugin is called Mockup and what it allows you to do is click on Mockup and it asks you basically to select a screen. 
we have already outlined the screen here i've just used the pen tool to make a rectangle here over this with the exact same shape i select this and i click on this refresh button right here it then asks you to choose a frame or a component in this case i have a frame which says i'm puneet chavla i click on this frame right here and i import this frame into this screen by clicking on 3x and say apply and what it does it basically imports as you can see i am puneet chavla into this space and it looks as if it's actually on the screen right here how cool is that if this was any other design i could have done it i can do this with any device or any image possible it could be an iphone it could be a billboard it could be anything that you like it to be this is a normal card but i wish i could give it more perspective and depth while well, you can do that if i click on this rectangle here i go to this plugins panel right here and under this there is a plugin which is my favorite plugin of all times it is called smooth shadow if i click on smooth shadow what it allows me to do is create all these complex looking shadows which you might see on a lot of photoshop and illustrator tools but in this case you can do that in figma i can increase the number of layers i have as shadows just just watch that see there is some change of course i can increase the alpha which is makes it darker and lighter i can increase the offset that means it is more spread out in this case and i, I can also increase the blur or decrease the blur depending on my liking and as you can see for both these values offset and blur i have a bezier curve which allows me to just adjust it very naturally and based on different movements and based on different perspectives i can even set a different color if i don't like a black i can choose a red i can choose a blue i can choose whatever i want to choose and just click on apply and that will apply a shadow what if i had a 3d tool inside figma well it is now possible there is a tool which a lot of people might not know is called vectory 3d and if you have used figma before you might have heard of this tool as well what it does is is allows you to import a lot of 3d assets into your design in this case it could be a simple mock up like a mac or a iphone in this case you even have just random elements like t-shirts and these little blocks and uh, cylinders which you can place around and play around with in your figma documents how can i talk about figma and not talk about blush Well Blush is a really cool plugin uh, which has been introduced by Pablo Stanley who is the creator of a lot of cool illustrations out there. Blush houses one of the best illustrations for your design projects that I have ever seen. There are these uh, random modern art looking icons as well as well as all these uh, open peeps and uh, human looking uh, icons right here as well so you can just import all these illustrations. best part is that you can even customize all these illustrations so if i want a darker skin tone i can choose a darker skin tone if i want the person to be a woman i can choose from all these hairstyles to so change it to this woman with long a uh, long ponytail i can change uh, this icon to i can even change the illustration to something like having to something like a person who's running uh, in in a skirt i guess yes in a skirt and i can even change the body type as well there are more complex things like graphs and plants and stuff like that things that you can use around in your illustrations and you can randomize as well if you are feeling lucky that is now a lot of designs have this cool wave looking effect and i like to create those waves but it's very complex if you use a pen tool there's a plugin for that as well if you go to plugins i have something called get waves if i click on get waves there is a new panel which opens up right here and it allows you to customize all the waves that you're creating so if you want to create something which has more waves you can increase this and as you can see it now kind of looks like a graph if i decrease this it will look much more like a natural wave or like a water wave i can even uh, i can even select whether this is like a edgy square edges or these pointed edges or just circular edges which look really nice i can randomize this as well so if i want different waves at different point of time and just say create and it will create a cool wave for this so those are all the cool new plugins for the past few months 
Let me know in the comments below which tool has the better plugins. Is it, is it Adobe XD plugins or is it Figma plugins? And I'll see you in the next video every Monday and Thursday. God bless.